Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Quest 11. This is part 57 if I'm correct and I hope you have all been waiting for it as long as I've been waiting to record it. It has been a day. I played yesterday. Um, we did a good amount of recording. Yesterday was really fun. <clears throat> I do apologize and my voice sounds a bit funny. I um, just woke up about mm, anything between 15 and 20 minutes ago. I had not even eaten breakfast yet today. I woke up, I put the kettle on, I jumped in the shower, I got out the shower, and the first thing I did was put on the Dragon Quest. That is how excited I am to play Dragon Quest. After yesterday's amazing, amazing recording session I had with Dora in grey. Oh man, that boss was so fun. That whole mural section was so fun. Everything about that part of the game was so fun. But, if we are here to have fun or not, I'm not entirely sure. What I do know is that we are here to play some Dragon Quest 11. So let's get into it. The search for remaining orbs brings our heroes to Phenomenon, home to some mysterious runes and an even mysterious mural. The more there among the hustle and bustle of the Husters and Hawkers, they find a lost little girl. But they soon learn that she's not all that she seems to be and is in fact a crazed creature who has created a warp world on the far side of the fresco. They set out for the world beyond the painting to put an end to her wicked ways once and for all and eventually overcome her. The sooner she is slain, then the souls she is enslaved are free at last to escape their painted prison. In her death throes, Dora reveals that Morrigan was behind the mule's curse. Now all the more determined to defeat the meddling mage, our heroes return to the real world to make use of the mystical artifact known as the Magic Key, its ability to open up high thirto unexplored areas will no doubt aid them in their ongoing quest for the orbs. I think I did not mute the mic in time. And I do think you guys heard me do a little bit of a tiny burp there. And I'm, I apologize. I'm so sorry. Um, that is very unprofessional and disgusting and I'm super so sorry about that. But you know, I'm but a human being and that's just how life is. So, we are here in the Champs Savage on our way to the Eerie Eerie and we are in our beautiful is it beautiful? I'm gonna say it is beautiful. Dracillian armor. But first I see that I need to do a tiny bit of backtracking here before we go on with the game. Excuse me. Almost missed that red eye. Uh need to do a tiny bit of backtracking here because I see a glint in my eye. Or a glint in the game's eye rather. And that glint of course is the glint of Platinum Ore. And Platinum Ore is still rare enough in this game. For me specifically, that I will go out of my way to go find it. So let's run over there to get the platinum ore. <coughs> Something to remember about uh, Dragon Quest 11 that you can see on full display right now that I might not have brought up many times or mentioned often is the fact that this game is really um, two two games. One is the exploration of the world at daytime, where you fight a specific set, subset of monsters. And one is the exploration at night time where you fight an alternative set of sub monsters. Some of the monsters, of course, do stay the same. For example, these metal slime knights, they stay the same. But these little heal slimes, they were not what was usually here. They were the um, rabbits were usually here. So let's fight one of these slimes because I don't think I fought a slime specifically. I fought a slime that has been summoned to a battle, but I have not yet fought a slime by... Specifically clicking on a slime. So I'm gonna use a little bit of boom action here, I think. Just want some kind of AoE damage to speed up this fight a little bit. Boom. And then we can use our little goal Jade, a who missed, which I'm very upset about, but it is what it is. It's Sam. Your Grandpa, you sound like a very horrible person, because all your attacks are like, Surrender your soul, die to the darkness. And I'm just saying, but that's not what the Wild versed Victor, Water for claiming victory at least five battles. Okay, well that was easy. Um so yeah, you're supposed to be like the good guy, Mr. Old Man. But you sound like a very evil man. Oh, <gasps> how cool would it be if uh, Rab and Jade ended up being bad guys? That would be a twist. That would be a very insane twist in the game. I don't think a Dragon Quest has ever done something like that. I don't think any game has ever done something like that at all, honestly. Got a Garuda there. 
Uh, well, that's maybe a ha that's maybe a Hades Condor rather. And we got a slime. If we fight these slimes, they will they can turn to king slimes. Let's fight one since we've only fought one king slime before. I don't mind taking a few seconds out of my time. <laughs> oh no, not flee! Fight. I mean, unless these slimes are stronger than normal slimes, I don't ever see a time when they're going to get a chance to summon enough people without me defending. If I actually attack, I'm pretty sure that they would just, like, never be able to turn into a king slime. What in the... the slimes are? They're fusing together. King Slime! I have no pep powers for this party but from by myself. Okay. Oh, we've got the Falcon Blade now! That's so good. Mm. Oh, get paralyzed, son! Oh, that's crit on the second hit, guys. That's crit on the second hit. I, ke I feel kind of bad. I was actually hoping that Steven would get a, a pet so we could use itemized kill and get an item steal from the King's Metal, uh, the King's Time, but does not look like that's going to be the case. Anyway, without further ado, let's make our way through. Uh, that's a new enemy, so I have to fight it. Make our way to the Eerie Eerie, which is where we're going to go. So, before I got slightly distracted by the game. Oh, there we go. And bam. Pet powers. We got Scorch Earth, Metal Metal, the Wheel, the Core, Itemized Kill. So I think it's just normal attack for now, it's fine. Dude, that dodge though. You have Party Pooper now, right? Party Pooper! Oh, finally! Finally, Jade is an AoE attack, guys! I wasn't sure if Jade would ever get an AoE attack, no, honestly. It's so weird that Jade has literally zero spells. She's spellless. Group of enemies are defeated. Rabs level increase level. That's a multi heal. Uh, no, sorry. I actually want to see something. I don't want to zoom to Phenomenon, I want to zoom to the camp buff. I remember there's a quest that we can only do at nighttime Phenomenon. And since it is nighttime, I thought like, well, let's take a few seconds out of our day. It shouldn't take too long. We just have to beat one of those umbrella monsters while it's, um, night? Or was it while it's raining? Oh, you know what? I think it might be while it's raining, not nighttime. Mm. Yes, I am correct. It was not nighttime, it was, uh... It was while it was raining. So, a little bit of a mistake by me. We're going to waste a minute or two here. Zooming back to where we just were. I made a tiny miscog. I thought it was, for some reason, nighttime when the enemy would spawn that I need to kill for the quest. But it's actually when it's raining. Now, I don't know how to make it rain game. Oh, it is raining. Never mind. See, it was meant to be, guys. There it is. The enemy we have to kill for the quest right there. But before that, I want to just get this uh, shiny out. There we go. Back to fighting the golly gaggers. Hello. I saw a couple of corpse corporals there. That's a new like thing. They weren't usually corpse corporals, I'm pretty sure. It was actually so cool in the other episode, um, two episodes ago, or one episode ago, I think two episodes ago, we actually fought a, um, a golden umbrella, which was really cool. There seems to be some form of golden enemies in this game, which are... I haven't, I haven't decided yet if they are... What's the word? Um, rare encounters or or a kill a certain amount of enemies and then you'll fight a uh, gold version. I'm not entirely sure how the game decides it. Puts oven cloth. I'm not here for that. I'm here for this. Finds a length of rainproof rayon. Sweet. Okay. Before that, I just want to go into Miskia 
The lineup. No. Oh, can I take JRPG out? Oh, I can take JRPG out? He does not have to be in my party? Excuse me, Dragon Quest? The main character does not have to be in the party since when? If I take the main character party, who runs around? I still run around. That's insane. I have never seen that. Um. I mean, I'm gonna leave the main character in the party for the whole game because he's the main character, for goodness sake. He's also the most well-balanced character. He's extremely well-balanced. I feel like he's super balanced. Like, got just the right amount of heal, magic, physical attacks. Everything is just really balanced in the main character. Here. It's kind of weird, actually. He's like way better than any of the other characters in the game. As much as I even like the other characters, the fact of the matter remains that he is way better than those characters. So. Do -do -do -do. My beautiful lanterns will fall apart if I do not repair them soon. Please hurry, sir, and bring me the rainproof rayon I require. Chip hands over the rainproof rayon. Oh, this is it. This is exactly what I need. Thank you very, very much, sir. The lanterns of Phom phenomenon will look as good as new in no time, I think. You have done a great thing for our village. You are a real hero, I think so. Please accept this by way of thanks. Ten chunks of silver ore. Oops, I didn't read that. Of course, they require a great deal of care and attention, otherwise their lights will go out, perhaps forever. That is my one life. I will continue to make, take good care of the lanterns, repairing them as necessary, and making sure that they remain brightly lit. One of the hardest quests we have to still do in the game is the um is the um the wild side quest. This one, a walk in the wild side. Like, how is this supposed to rush of blood? Oh, that's the body go one. Right, I'm gonna do that one now. One, two, three, four, five. There's only five side quests left in this whole game. There's so few side quests in the game. I'm actually surprised. Either we've almost done with the game, or I mean, if we think about it, we've got three orbs already. We're about to get our fourth orb. There's only six orbs in total. Mmm, please don't tell me Dragon Quest XI is a short game. Do not make me wait many, 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 many years. I want to zoom to the... I want to zoom to the campfire. But I can't. Oh, I can't. I can't. Why can't I zoom to the south one? But I can zoom to the north one. That's weird. You can zoom here. Sweet. Okay, that's a little bit of time. I said 30 minutes in and we haven't made it our way to the area. But we had a side quest to do, so... You know, get it done. One less side quest. We're going to skip all these fights now and make our way straight to the... Uh, the eerie eerie. The eerie eerie. Uh, that's the wrong way. I'm going the wrong way. Eerie is this way. Is it ghost? Bum, bum. So we got all five targets in this area, which is kind of cool. It makes me very happy. It, doesn't, it means I do not need to look for any more... Um, Wait a minute. Zoom in. There's like a little island. Doesn't look like I can get there. Boom, boom. Got a Dracillian shitty. <coughs> it's not sure what the Dracillian stuff are for. They made it sound like they're just sellables, like gold nuggets were in the previous games. But I'm not gonna sell them because I don't trust. I don't trust games, man. Once played a game, I sold a shitty item. Item ended up in a quest item. I could never finish the quest. I was like, what the fuck? Well, who, how do you let me sell quest items, game? What logic is that? Yeah, sell the quest item that you need to do the quest. Now you can never do the quest. Good luck finishing the quest now. Not happening. You know, let's make our way to the eerie eerie. 15 minutes in, guys. I'm already making my way to the eerie eerie now. I'm sorry. I did seem to have gotten slightly distracted. Bum, bum, bum. The eerie eerie. I 
Okay. I'm not scared. I've never been scared in my heart. The rainbow glows brightly. One of the orbs must be nearby. Okay, I can just walk across the river apparently. Never mind. I was gonna go all the way around. Oh, a crabby. Have I fought you before? In case I haven't, let's kill him again. A handsome crabs appear. I have fought handsome crabs before. Well. I don't know why the hamster crabs are handsome. They look pretty much the same as all the other crabs to me, but... Oh, you know what we can do? We could put all the people with the pet powers out of our party. And then we could, uh... Like, put other people on party. And then we could actually just enter the wild side quest with the three people Who else picked wants up some? we want. So we could literally go, like, misc, party lineup. Where's party lineup? Lineup. Take Steven out of our party. Put, like, Salvando in. And we could take, like, JPG out and put someone else in. And then... When we go to the Galapagos, we'll have people that are ready to pip immediately. And thus we'll get the uh, pip power done. You know what I mean? That makes sense? I think that makes sense. Hello, Krabby. Yeah, I know. I'm over leveled. What can I do? Nothing I can do about it, Krabby boy. Just how it is. Find ourselves a nice little, uh... Oh. We need to execute. We need to execute. An executor. They make this area very obvious that you are not exploring this area without the executor. Just doing a little bit of exploration before we... I'm one of those executors, okay. Hmm. Two paths to take. I don't like it when there's two paths to take in the game. I'm gonna quickly activate. Oh my word, a freaking crab just appeared out of nowhere. I said I was gonna make my way quickly to the campfire. Just to, just to rest at it. So, because I, I think you might need to actually click on the campfire to activate it. We didn't click on the southern campfire, that might be why. The southern campfire was never activated. If that is the case, I should try and make sure to click on every campfire just once. And let's rest up until the morning anyway. I'm gonna, um... You know what, let's just rest. I don't think there's any reason to find forge or buy some stuff. We did that in the last episode. No reason to waste time here. Let's get back into business. Okay. So still handsome crabs and still executors. Okay, so nothing changes there. Let's kill this glowy executor and ride him. Hello. Bum, bum, bum. We haven't read one of these uh, exoskeletons since back in Kingsborough. You guys remember Kingsborough? That was a place, guys. Party pooper. Man, I'm so happy she finally has an AOE attack. Waiting, it feels like I'm waiting my whole life for that. Do -do 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 -do. Thank you, Salvando. The exoskeletons it, are defeated. We got a green eye. Nice. We can now ride the exoskeleton. Mm. Am I inside it? I'm inside the exoskeleton. Whoa. That's an insane jump. Okay. What about we jump over here? We jump over here. I'm not sure I'm here. I'm looking down here though. There's a sparkly. Sprig of slippery. Bloop. Let's go this way first. Oh, we can't go that way. Okay. That's nice. Only one way to go there. I prefer that a lot more, yeah? Do, 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 do. Oh. I can climb up that. I didn't even need the executor. The exoskeleton, if you will. There's a jargon. Uh, let's dismount our ex exitor. Actually, we don't need to. We can just run into him. Flip. I always forget you can do that. A dragon appears. Bam. Ba -ba -bam. Bam. So our main character is in for basically like 100 damage now. That's insane. Oh my word. The dragon is dead already. We didn't Victory. get to do four attacks. Died in three attacks, game. I mean, technically died in four attacks. But you want to be... Technical about it. Special management. 
Gracias, Bajo. I cannot read this again. It's mount. Danger! Do not enter without good reason. Uh, okay. Oh, I could ignore you. And enter anyway. Ha 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 ha. Don't think I didn't see that secret items. Why won't you just jump there? He refuses to jump. He refuses. He's like, no. He jumps here. He jumps here. He jumps here. Okay, he missed, I messed that up, but... You think I don't see that chest? I see that fucking chest game. A thunderbolt. You think for one second I'm not getting these secret items? You are wrong. I'm gonna get out of the executor while I go into this cave. I love the music. It's so like calm and relaxing. Hello. For some of these little devils, they do not want to fight me. That's fine. I gotta look up for devils and the heal slime. This way. Come down here for a shiny. Hello. A celestial scheme. So far, so good. Mm, no reason to fight you guys. It's fine. Just skip you guys. Just skip you guys. A chunk of planet water. Oh, yes, baby. No, I need more of those. There's, the slimes make the coolest sound. Do you guys hear that? That's awesome. Okay. On the other side of the cave. It does look like there's a little bit of executor climbing to be done here. We're gonna slip, let's pick up slip. We're gonna need to get an executor. Are you serious? Hello? Is there an executor? There is an executor. It's new toads. New toads. You see new enemy type, you need to fight them, baby. <laughs> An overtoad. That's a really weird rank. Overtoad. Welcome to the overtoads. Oh, we have a swish now. Serena learns swish. Nice, Serena. Serena might be like the second best character to play as. So far in my rankings, I feel like JRPG Gaming, the main character, he's the strongest. We got a Dracidian Sovereign and a Toad Oil. Dude, the Toad Oil look cock awesome! I like that design a lot in the Toad Oil, guys. That looks cool. Did you guys see that? That looks so cool. It's like a literal Toad, like, bowl or, or holder. It looks freaking awesome. How are you not dead, Medi Slime? I don't even understand. Serena's pumped up. Oh, yeah, Serena's dual wielding now. He's a dual wielding. Excuse me? Excuse me! The executor of picking. Well, that was easy. Attack me for a ton of damage. So, miss, line up. I mean, I can't take Serena out. Serena's my healer. If I take Serena out, I put Rabin. I don't want Rabin in my party. I can, I can make a main character healer, I guess. Put Ron again. So we've got Serena and we've got... Uh, uh, Steven. Both have limit breaks, so... All we need to do... I mean, there's no way, right? There's no way you can jump on those. Is that maybe just for looks?
I think these are just for looks, guys. I don't think those are... I don't think those are mates actually to be jumped on like I'm doing right now. Got some more toads here. Let's fight them. We haven't really fought many toads. We got toad all out of it once on the first set, so... Technically speaking, we kind of fight. Ooh, Jade pepped up. Dude, everyone's pepping up. It's pep mania up in here. Oh, it's Vonica. Oh, Vonica quitting for 89 damage. Okay, so everything in this area does freaking fire damage, AoE, breath. They're all dragons, secretly speaking. Oh, Savanda has that new dragon thing I learned. Took 25 freaking experience points. It better be the best ability since Swiss cheese, guys. Excuse me, Foggy. You just jumped through me. That is not part of the arrangement. I'm trying to jump all fancy. I can just do a normal jump. Mini middle. Worth. Was worth every second. Every second of my life wasted trying to get up here. Worth. I got one mini middle. Okay. Uh, we still haven't seen any targets in this area. I don't know if there are any targets. Okay, we got heal slimes. We got toads. We got executors. So far so normal. I see a chest in the distance there. Eh? Hold on, we jump down here. Okay. Five thousand gold. Okay, can I get back up here like this? No, I can't. Oh, okay, that's awkward. I'll kill you guys now. Just be patient, please. I got a little bit of a, a side tracking, side track stuff to do. Interesting. Okay. I'll be back to kill you guys soon. I just need to go back and explore the other section. A lot of uh, miniature secret areas in this place because of the fact that you can use the executors to jump up and stuff. So I see a path over here. There's no way executors jumping that high. This is not. Are you gonna be able to jump that high? By anyway, do you, do you think you can jump that high? No. Okay. Okay. Cool. I'll go there. Around. I'll go around. Uh, he told me he's not, he's not gonna make it. It's just a little bit too high for him. He didn't seem very confident in his own skills. Whoop. There we go. But I'm sure this guy does. I'm sure he feels very confident. Doo, doo. He put these in the um in the other side. So I was very I was like looking all over the other side for one of these little footmarks, you know, so we could climb up the footmarks, but there weren't any footmarks, so it was fine. It sucked a little bit, but it's okay. Nice. We get strong medicine. But we're not here for that, we're here for this. I feel like I've done a very good job exploring this area, but no, it's still highly possible I could have missed one or two items. We just unlocked the shortcut. It's great. That's a uh, Hades condo. I think it's Hades condo. Yep, Hades condo. We fought these in the uh, on that little island, so I'm not too scared of them. Ba -ba -ba -bam -bam. Nice. Can I maybe use Veronica as a mage? Considering Veronica as a mage, I'm just I'm just gonna point it out that that might be. Beneficial for us. Ladies condos are defeated. Okay, sweet. Now I'm gonna come through here because I saw chests. A recipe electrifying equipment. Takes a look inside, learns how to make lightning stars and lightning lances. Ooh, lightning lances sound good. Lightning Lancer sounds like something I might want to get onto Jade ASAP. Ooh, 
because we're going to be fighting birdies and in Pokemon birds types are weak to lightning types so my logic is Japan decided that's how it is and every single enemy in the whole game or every single game ever will work with that logic this is still so cool I love it so much <laughs> it's just such a different like exploration idea it was very good the game. I mean, it's not used overly much either. It's not like it's every area you go to has a uh, has one of these, you know, which is kind of nice because then it's like balanced a little bit, you know. You know, let's leave our let's leave our little rider here, and we'll come back from later on. A purple eye of a thing, gold chunk, beautiful, and a plan wall. Now we can make the crown for the old man. Because the old man, he's got the, uh, he's got the, what's it call it? The, uh, outfit. But he doesn't have the, what's it call it? Uh, he does not have the crown. He needs the crown. I'm not gonna lie, this is a bit weird, but, okay. I mean, I'm not gonna fall down here just yet, okay? That's a very deep fall, and I'm a bit worried about my safety, but... Let's do a little bit of exploration. I'm always worried I try and jump to like a place again and I fall down. <laughs> it's like shit. Just a prayer ring. Okay. Yeah, it's a nice thing to find, but I already had one. Ah, dragon, dragon. Drag urn. Hello, Hades Condor. Do you want to fight me? I don't think so. Okay, there's too many places I can drop down. And too little. Whoop, let's go. The only way to know is to go. Sometimes in life you just need to take a leap of faith. I did it. I don't know if it was the right choice or not, but... Look, I love exploring. Yeah, I'm all about that exploring life stuff. I, I spend a lot of time, like, moving the camera about and checking for items and stuff. And I apologize. If that is not fun for you. I get it. Well, this is the most obvious waterfall ever. Usually the waterfalls are, like, kind of less obvious than this. On a recipe called Build Better Bird Feet. What? Let's make a pair of crow's claws. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, now which route do we go? Well, this is the way. To, this is the way on. So we don't want to go through here yet. We first want to go back. First want to do a little bit of backtracking. Got two paths to go. Okay, let's start with this one. This is a vine we can unlock. Okay, sweet. I love it. Beautiful. I don't see any chests, items, or rare shinies. Ah! Oh, that's a condo. I thought it was a target! I thought it was a target! So far, I'm pretty sure we haven't seen a target inside the Eerie Eerie yet. I might be wrong, but I think I'm not. Hello! I came down here because... I had yet to expose her. Oh, that's that other area. Okay, that's that area over there. I see. I feel a bit blonde. It took me that long to figure that out. Okay, let's to get back up there if I wanted to get back up there. So there's nothing actually here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's great. That means we can just go on. And I think that on that little epiphany that I just had. I think that's a great place in the episode. Thank you all very, very much for watching this episode of Dragon Quest XI, where we explored the entirety of the Eerie Eerie. Hope you guys enjoyed it. The Eerie Eerie was, uh, 
was interesting. Not too difficult, not too easy, just interesting. If you guys enjoyed, please be sure to hit that like button. It's super duper awesome, helps a lot, and I really appreciate it. I'll see you on the next episode where we go to the condor. Oh, we're already there. The condor's crack. I thought there was going to be like another area, but it seems like this is it. So I'm not going to go there for now. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to stop right here, and then I'll see you on the next episode of Dragon Quest 11. We go and fight the condor. The giant condor in the condor crag. For now, thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe for more Dragon Quest in the future, and I will see you on the next episode of Dragon Quest 11.